Starting with the boundary. Good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. Good girl, darling. So I'm looking at her, looking at me. Uh, the door's wide open, but as you can see, she's looking up and waiting for me to give her the all clear. Good girl, darling. Good girl. Good girl. Keep it through. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Free! Go get it by! Woohoo! <laughs> Hello guys! Hello Luna! These birds live in our garage uh, and also on the side of the house. I'll show you their nest when we go out for lunch. But uh, I kept them there for two reasons. They're very good mosquito hunters and they entertain the dogs. We've got a few bird chasers and uh, every morning they come out. They're skimming the grass for bugs, flying bugs in the grass. And um, dogs love chasing them. Go, Jackie! Go, Jackie! Go,
door about that, mate? Adam's way sick, unfortunately, and uh, we rely on Adam quite a bit on the setup and support behind the scenes for setting up the lure, putting everything out, changing all the water bottles, just doing that kind of stuff for all the dogs. And uh, he's not here today, so we're manually setting up and taking away the lure. And uh, as you can see, they're all <laughs> attacking it as he's trying to walk. It was like the fourth time he had to stop and wander in because they grab it and run off with it behind him. So these birds always seem to follow us. Uh, well, they don't seem to, they do. Um, and the reason being is all the dogs, when we're and as we're walking over and running over the grass, we're causing all the insects and bugs to launch up into the air. So it's a bit of a healthy relationship between the both of us. Uh, the dogs like chasing the birds. However, the dogs are stirring up all the insects that the birds are hunting to try and eat. So. All, whenever they're around, they're always following us around all the place. And uh, it's a bit of give give from both parties, so it works. It's good balance. Marley definitely likes it anyway. Marley and Nike. Nike's had a good run after them today. Hello, Tupac. Hello, Tupac. Hello, buddy. 
Hello, buddy. Oh no, he knows. <laughs> yeah, smelt it. He smelt pla the plastic pig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get cutie pies, jack it out.
Yeah, guys, so I just wanted to show you the bird's nest I was talking about earlier today. And this is these guys up here, They're around two sides of the house. So, got a big mud nest up here. Another one there. Another three on the corner here. Yeah. And then all the way along this side. So when we first moved in here, there was one nest and the previous owner said he knocks it down every year because uh, the bird used to poo in the sky. Um, however, I haven't knocked it down because they're uh, mutually beneficial. This is the one that's inside. And then every night they'll be flying around in here and up on these rails and they do poo on your car, but we put up with it. And the reason that we put up with it is because just out here, 
You got this big dam. So in summer, the amount of mozzies that are coming up out of that dam is crazy. And uh, when we first moved in, we couldn't be out in the afternoon, in the evening, uh, around a door, sorry, around dusk or later. We we're just getting smashed by mozzies. And these guys, these swallows, just aerial hunting these mozzies all day. And so I thought, uh, one, the dogs love them. The dogs love chasing the birds. And they're doing me a favor by getting rid of these mozzies. So I said, tell your friends, you're welcome here at this house. And each season, I got more and more nests coming. So all this mud that they're making it from is from the edge of the dam. And they come and make, uh, make new nests and tell all their friends. So as you can see, what started off as one family of uh, swallows has turned into quite a number. And this year, this year is the first year that they haven't migrated. Um, as you can see, earlier today they were all around us, um, but that's only a small number. I think there was only, you know, six or seven of them. Um, in summer, there's 50. There's so many. You look up in the sky, it's just, they're going nuts. Um, so, yeah, it's really, uh, it's really quite good having them around. Dogs love chasing them. They earn their keep here. They uh, are most certainly... Uh, welcome here to eat these mozzies. And then also, we got this pool heater here. And it's uh, churning out some heat. So they're getting a bit of warmth here in winter as well. I don't know if that's got anything to do with the fact that they're not migrating this year, but um, yeah. Seems like the habitat is good enough for them to hang around. A gas storage for a heated pool. We go through eight of those cylinders a week to heat that pool. I'll tell you what, a day like today, it's well worth it. These guys think so, don't you? Hey? So this is the second time I've just come to get Bandit. I had to walk him out there, told him it was bath time, setting up the bath, so I come back looking for him. Where did he go? Walk inside and look at where he is. Oh, he's not, he's not looking at you. Yeah, you do, if I don't see you, you don't exist. Bandit, I'm just talking to you, mate. It's <laughs> bath time, and it's time to go home. Aww. Come on, mate. Let's go, Bandit. Come on, Bandit. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, come on, buddy. This is, this is what he used to do when he was hiding at the old farm. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just on the armchair. Yeah. Clapperoo. <laughs> Mate, sitting on the armchair, pretty. You should see him. He's proud to punch up there, too. Come on, in you go. Every Wednesday.
Home time, Bandit. Let's go. Come on, Bandit. Come on, buddy. Come on, mate. Let's go. Bandit, let's go. Good boy, mate. Good boy. Get the rest of the bus, mate. Come on. Bye, Bandit. It's a sad day Wednesday, isn't it? Come on, mate. <laughs> Come on, mate.